We're gonna learn how to make corned beef brisket. It's uh, very easy to do, and I'm not gonna lie to you, there's a lot of editing that I'm gonna make in between this because it takes about three hours to do this when you do a few things in advance. First things first, corned beef brisket. I would suggest that you get the boneless juice spiced packaged version already. You can make the brisket in advance by brining it yourself. More power to you, but honestly, it just takes too long to get everything done. It's nice when the store does it for you and it gets it all taken care of. So, you get corned beef brisket. We're going to be using the simmering method versus the oven method, and I have my reasons for that. What's important is that you are going to do something called searing. Now, I like to use peanut oil. Use any vegetable oil that can handle the heat because you need to have a nice hot skillet to make this work. Now, if you don't have a skillet like this, wide pan, whatever it takes, I just like using a skillet honestly because I fell in love with this device. It enables you to use a lot of space with the oil nice and spread. There's always a fatty side and there's always the cut meat side. It doesn't really matter what side you start with. My suggestion is three minutes on each side. There's a thing that you kind of forget sometimes and that is the actual sides of the meat. Don't. Now you notice that I put this lid right on here. <laughs> it's very obvious the reason why I did it. It's important though guys that you don't completely cover the lid because you don't want to capture the water vapor or it's going to make a lot of splattering happen. You're just trying to stop the oil from going all over the place. That's it. Now one of the things that you didn't see me doing while I just got started was is that I already turned on the crock pot and I put all the juices that came in the packaging with this plus a cup of wine and a little bit of water which I'll show you and I put it in the crock pot to heat already because obviously you want to get that ready for you once you're done searing because it's going to take you about 10 minutes to do this completely by then the water should be pretty nice and hot all right another check All right, you see that brown right there? That's what I'm looking for. Does it have to be all over the meat? No, but I wanna make sure that the meat in itself is being cooked because the searing is an important step. It's an important step, but you don't ever read about it inside of any packaging. I don't know why, but you gotta do this. You gotta make it happen. Vegetable oil is always the way to go. Ugh. Do not use olive oil, please. The stuff smokes like crazy. So, peanut oil is the best in my suggestion. I know that some of you might have some allergies. So, general vegetable oil is also good too. If at worst, although I'd highly do not suggest it, you can use Crisco as well. All right, see that searing? That's pretty good right there. But remember to do the edges. Good news is you don't have to do that for very long, maybe about a minute, two minutes. Just keep an eye out, literally, for the hot oil. And for those of you who have a skillet, and I'm sorry I just thought about it, but 400 degrees, 350. Once you're searing the corned beef brisket on all of its sides the mixture of water wine and the juices basically should start steaming up I don't know if you see it but I do and if you notice I didn't put it to the top of the water line and I did that on purpose inside you're gonna notice that this happens with a whisk or a fork or whatever you have don't freak out that's kind of normal it's basically the leftover fat if your whisk allows for that to happen, comes down, then you know that you're pretty much ready. Really, it's really the steaming of the water that you're looking for. You need all of that for this brisket. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you put it inside of the crock pot 
with the fat side up. It's very important because that way it cooks the meat from the bottom up. The liquid will also do the job because this is going to be about a three hour job, three to four hours. In about the last hour, that's when you add any of the vegetables that you're going to be putting in there, such as carrots, onions, whatever you want to be put into a corned beef brisket. The traditionals are potatoes and uh, carrots. And then of course you have the spices that goes with that on top of the meat itself. Only thing I can tell you from this point on is that you'll enjoy the meal because this is, that's it. We're done. And uh, the last time you'll see anything on the video is basically when I'm dressing it. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look after four hours of it being in the crock pot. How I knew is because I have a timer on it, but everyone has a timer of some kind on your phone, whatever. You need to know that at the two hour mark, I put in the carrots whole without adding any more water, but uh, made sure that the water was touching the carrots. I put in about three potatoes, red potatoes. You see that right in there? Huh? And I put it on top of the meat. You also need to know that that jutting piece of meat that you saw initially, I had to cut it so that way I could get the vegetables in. So it's all done. Now we're going to see an inspection. So we're going to take that piece of meat that I already cut. Alright. And I'm going to get my feminine hands to appear and then they're going to cut that piece of meat. Watch this happen right here. Oh yeah. See that? And that's when you know you've got it done. You can always leave it in there for as long as you want, but of course there's always a cooling down time that you could always apply for. I hope that this was educational, and if you have any questions, send me any comments. Thank you much.